What's up everybody? This is my 2001 Toyota Corolla and I think I have a general idea of what all I want to do with this car but I'm still going to go ahead and put out this video just to see if I can get some ideas see what feedback I get. As for the car itself it actually started as my parents car they bought it brand new. It's a 2001 they bought it in 2000 and if I remember the story right they were originally looking at Echoes but there was a deal going on with the Corollas to where they were actually a little bit cheaper than the Echoes so they decided to go with the next one up. It sits right now with about 150,000 miles on it. They got themselves a new car last year, and I got this one. Now, when they were first looking into getting a new car, what they told me, the dealership told them, was they actually wouldn't take this car on a trade-in because it was too old, which I really don't get because when I worked for the dealership, they would take in cars much older than this one on a trade-in, no problem, so... I really don't get it, but whatever. I got the car. Here it is. We're going to go ahead and do a quick walk around. Cosmetically, it is still in very good shape for its year, which is really a good thing because one thing I've noticed with Corollas, even newer ones, people buy them. And they honestly just don't care about them. Like, they'll scratch them up. They'll run them into things. I've honestly, I've honestly seen two-year-old Corollas that honestly look like they're 15 years old. I mean, people honestly buy these cars and they just don't care about them. So, to have an older Corolla that's still in decent condition is definitely a good thing. Really, to have any car that's 15, 20 plus years old and still in good condition is is a good thing but definitely these cars because people honestly buy them brand new and they just don't care about them at all so here we go the first thing I did when I got the car was I had the back windows tinted I just went with 5% which is the darkest they have it protects the interior of the car and also enhances the overall look the next thing I did was I put some wood dash in I found a kit online. I think it was about $110, $112 if I remember right. But to me, wood dash pretty much just brings out the interior of pretty much any car. It's pretty much impossible for you to add wood dash to your car and not have it look good. So it has wood dash now. I took the stock light bulbs out and put in hyper white bulbs just for improved visibility at night. I don't really like HID kits. I've tried it before on another car and the lights just kept flickering out. I do think the halogen light bulbs are a lot more reliable, but I do like the hyper white look. So if you want to upgrade your headlights, the hyper white halogen bulbs are definitely the way to go. The other nice thing about this car, and this is actually a factory upgrade, believe it or not, you actually get the full instrument cluster with the tachometer. This car is a CE model, so it's the basic model. And this generally wasn't something Toyota put in the basic model Corollas back then. Back then it was just your speedometer, your gas gauge, and your temp gauge. So this is definitely a pretty nice little upgrade too. Thank you, Toyota. As far as upgrades, that's pretty much all I've done so far. I was able to find some OEM fog lights online, but for some reason when they sent them to me, they only sent the lights. They didn't send any of the wiring or the switch that was supposed to come with it, so... I'm going to have to take this car somewhere to have the fog lights installed. As for the wheels, these are just the basic factory wheels that came with the car. I thought about doing a couple different things with these wheels. I thought about having these powder coated black. I've also thought about finding some steel wheels that are on the LE model. This one's the CE. I thought about finding some wheels that are on the LE model and putting them on this car with some rings. I've also thought about just leaving these wheels as they are, just because with this car being almost 20 years old and being in pretty good shape, as Corollas of this generation become harder and harder to find in decent shape, it would be kind of nice to have one that's as is and still looks good from the factory. But I mean, as far as the wheels, I'm still kind of on the fence about that. I haven't totally decided. But if you have any ideas or suggestions, please let me know. As far as modifying the suspension, I'm not really big on that just because when I worked at the dealership we'd have cars that would come in that were lowered and they'd be spitting grease all over the place from the CV joints. 
I'm really not interested in that. As far as performance upgrades, I'm really not interested in that either, only because the main computer in these cars are very strict. If you make any changes to the engine to try and make it get more horsepower or whatever, it's going to do something, but the main computer in your car is constantly going to be trying to set it back to factory specs. So I'm really not interested in that either. As far as the main computer, I just want to let it do its thing. And as far as the main computer, cars actually have main computers going back to the 80s. I actually know somebody who did a manual transmission swap on their 86 4Runner, and even in that, he had to make some changes to the main computer to get it to recognize the manual transmission. So, I really don't want to do anything to stress out the main computer. But, if you have any suggestions or ideas, please let me know. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up, and I will see you guys next week.